Welcome to this week's travel chat. We're going to talk to one of our travel advisors, Jaren, about her recent stay at Disney's Contemporary Resort. Hey, Jaren, how are you? Hi, Jenny. Great to see you. I'm doing well. Uh, it's always good to chat with you. You go to some very cool places. Uh, you shared with us your Mexico trip a few about a month ago, and then uh, Universal a month before that. And now you just got back from a week at Disney right after Christmas, right? Like that's correct. Yep. What were the dates that you were there? Uh, so we got there December 29th and we stayed through the new year till January 3rd. Awesome. And tell me about your resort because it's a popular one and I'm excited to talk about it. Yeah. So we were really excited. We have kind of a family bucket list thing. Uh, that we want to try to hit uh, every Disney resort at some point in our lives. <laughs> so we stayed at the Contemporary this time, which we were super excited. I had stayed there many, many, many years ago. So I call this basically a first time for me too um, <laughs> and my family. So we stayed in the main tower um, mm -hmm. there and we had a water view, which we really loved. Beautiful. Now I want to talk about your room, but I also want to mention because you had had um, told me that you were going with some family that stayed over at Bay Lake, yeah. um, which I I would love to hear, because um, I'm sure you guys did some back and forth. And mm -hmm. it's really, I don't think people realize it's really all one resort. Bay Lake is so close to the contemporary. They all have shared amenities. So, right. I mean, was that convenient for you having relatives over at Bay Lake Tower? Oh yeah, I mean, it was wonderful because it is, a, it's basically feels like it is one resort. There's just that, you know, uh, covered walkway yep. to get from basically kind of the back corner side of the main tower over to Bay Lake. Um, so, and getting back and forth from the main pool in front of the tower over to the Bay Lake pool. I mean, you're just like- You can walk, like right? You can just easy like- walk. Yeah, yeah. just a, a few steps away, so. So yeah, kind of a, a nice that. big playground for. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we were able to be together, you know, at the pool and swim. It was my sister and brother-in-law and my three nephews. Um, so it was their first time, uh, my nephew's first time going to Disney. So it was super Aww. cool to be able to, you know, experience part of that with them. And I know they're younger kiddos. So how did they um, love the pools at, at these two resorts, at the Contemporary and over at Bailey? Did they have a, a good time over there? Yes. And that was cool for me to witness that just as, you know, a travel advisor too, because my kids are 20 and 14. Mm -hmm. So, you know, their view of what's important at a pool is different than a five, seven and nine year olds. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they loved the slides at the contemporary. Awesome. They have very like tall slides, mm -hmm. um, you know, and our room actually, it was kind of fun. You could see the main pool from our room. So there was kids going down that slide, like all day long, you know, <laughs> Down and back up, down and back up. So yeah, they loved the um, the slides. As a matter of fact, my five-year-old nephew, you know, on several days was like, when can we go back to the pool? Like he would rather be <laughs> than the parks. Uh, so yeah, and they had uh, little hot tubs uh, or a hot tub in the main pool, like right kind of center of the whole area, which um, the way it's set up too, I think is really nice for parents because you could really have an eye um, mm -hmm. easily on your kids in, in any spot, um, you know, while they're swimming or at that, in that, that hot tub. But of course, lifeguards are constantly moving around the pool too, which is always nice. You can't beat the, the Disney lifeguards there. Yeah. They're phenomenal. Yeah. yeah, they are amazing. Now from that pool at the contemporary, you, I've never, well, I have, I have gone to that pool, but I don't recall. You can kind of see the lake from the mm -hmm. pool area, right? It's like, right behind so the there lake. was actually my oldest or my my um youngest daughter discovered too there's actually another pool behind the main pool so you you can go out the back gate so there's the main pool with the main slide yep and then if you go out the back gate there's another pool down there which um you know we didn't even know really was there <laughs> until she discovered it and it was a much like kind of quieter um not that the pools were crowded to be honest with you to start with um but it was like kind of kind of a much quieter feel um, there were cabanas, I guess you would call them down there that you could rent to. Mm -hmm. So I would think like for adults, if you kind of wanted space, um, maybe if you weren't traveling with kids, that would be a cool pool to rent one of those cabanas. Um, awesome. at. But you, 
you can definitely see the water from that one. It's so pretty. So talk to me about the Bay Lake uh, view room category, because I know that the theme park view, especially at the contemporary is the number one sought after, you know, when I stayed at the contemporary, I had to have the theme park view and I don't regret it for a second. Um, Granted, I was only there for one night, uh, but I don't think people realize how beautiful the lake is that's behind the Contemporary Resort and what it's like to have this kind of serene view versus the very, very busy view of Seven Seas Lagoon and Magic Kingdom. Absolutely. And I'm with you, to be honest with you, if that room category of theme park would have been available, that's what we thought we wanted. You sure. Know, yeah. Wow <laughs> factor of like, oh, but um, it wasn't. So we ended up getting uh, the lake view. But like you said, oh my gosh, it was so cool. Um, the electric light parade, um, even watching them set up for that at night, like you could yep. see the little boat coming out and setting up. <laughs> and then of course, when they did the electric light parade, was awesome. We stood stood right on our balcony and enjoyed it. Um, and I mean, it was neat to me in the mornings. I would get up early and make my coffee and sit out there. And you could see like, as the sun was rising, like you could see the pontoon boats and some of the ferry boats coming out and their lights were on. So I, I mean, I would pick that definitely. Yeah. If, you know, if, and when we go back there, that view was awesome. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. I think if you've got um, kids that want the wow factor or you just want the wow factor you can't beat the theme park view but if you're just looking for something really beautiful bay lake is gorgeous there's so much back there there's wilderness lodge there's the campground you know yeah yeah and you know we we were lucky enough to be there over um new year's eve so um of course disney wasn't at the time doing their fireworks they did have kind of a, a cool display you could watch on the tv but um anyway we of course um, stayed up till midnight and we were out on the balcony. Um, I had bought little blowers and things like that for, <laughs> for my niece and my daughter. And then all of a sudden, like the skyline in Orlando just starts lighting up with all <laughs> like fireworks. We got like the best, I mean, it was kind of off in the distance, but we got the most amazing fireworks show from probably, we were thinking like maybe Universal was one of them or we weren't even sure. Just they were city all fireworks, up. probably, yeah. you know, like yeah. local yeah. yeah. So the whole oh, skyline cool. was like lit up. So it oh, was an awesome. So yeah, it turned out to be really cool. Now, um, from what I have been told and experienced, the the standard rooms at the Contemporary are probably one of the largest standard room, standard rooms on property. Um, yeah. uh, I was shocked when I stayed there. I mean, it's it's very very spacious. Yes. Um, and you, you had four people. So tell me a little bit about how you, your comfort level on the size of the room. Yeah. So it was my husband and I, and then my youngest daughter and my niece who are 14 and 12, um, definitely, uh, could tell a difference from other, um, standard room size, um, it was super nice. Uh, we happened to get a room that had the, like the day bed, um, mm-hmm. pull down, Um, So that was wonderful because then, you know, one of them could sleep on that and the other one had a bed to themselves. And then my husband and I had, you know, our own separate bed. So, um, but yeah, definitely a little bit more space, which was nice because when you have two kids that age and suitcases and all that, you know, as as much room as possible to try to shove things. So there's still walkable, (laughs) walkable area. Yeah. Awesome. And we did have a chance um, briefly, but we did have a chance. My sister-in-law and brother-in-law stayed in a one bedroom um, over at um, Bay Lake. So a tower. So that was cool to go see that. I um, I sh- probably should have known, but I didn't realize they had like a literal whole full kitchen, like not yeah. a kitchenette, but a kitchen. Yeah. So yeah. And then you- just to clarify, so, in, it, so there's no confusion. You're talking about the villas over at Bay Lake Tower. Yes. So the suites at the contemporary are different and do, do not have a full kitchen, but right. um, just want to throw yes. that in there, but go ahead, keep going. Yeah, no, correct. So thank you for clarifying because that's absolutely the fact. And, um, but that surprised me. The fact like you and I had chatted about before of just having two bathrooms in there, yep. you know, is huge. Yep. Um, so they really uh, enjoyed that. And they had a lake view from their um, one mm-hmm. bedroom too. That's great. And they have the washer and dryer too, right? Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. 
my sister-in-law was so excited <laughs> about that because she's like, I love going home, you know, with three little boys going home and having everything clean mm -hmm. versus having to get home from vacation and do all that laundry. So that is a huge perk. <laughs> Yeah. Huge, yeah. huge. No, mm -hmm. that's great that you got to see that as well. Yeah. And um, that she was comfortable over there. And yeah. Um, yeah. So last thing I'm going to ask you about is dining because um, I'm sure everyone knows Chef Mickey's yeah. is, you know, the, like one of the most popular character meals at all of Disney World. So that's at the Contemporary Resort. And a lot of folks are familiar with California Grill up on the top. Um, because it's just really popular for, you know, your more upscale dining, special celebrations, special occasions. But I know you and I have a favorite little hidden gem at the Contemporary. So tell me about that. Yeah, the Wave. Um, we have eaten at the other two locations before. Um, so, you know, you're right. It's kind of like a little hidden gem. Mm -hmm. um, awesome, awesome breakfast. Um, we you had that twice. Um, the dinner menu is uh, amazing as well. It is. So, yeah. yeah. And I think that not, like you said, not a lot of people are aware that that's like tucked, you know, back there. Um, and it's so easy to get to, too, even if you, you know, weren't staying at the contemporary. Yeah, you just go down the escalator or walk. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it's right there. So, yeah, that would, that would definitely be a recommendation. We'll be back there. Yeah. It's just yeah. a fun atmosphere, too, whether you're going for dinner. Um, yeah. It has really a, quite a cool bar lounge area, mm -hmm. which, yeah. you know, not all of the, the restaurants um, have that kind of space too. Yeah, definitely. So, I feel yeah. like it can, it's, um, I don't want to say like adult atmosphere because obviously there's plenty of kids and, and all of our kids love, really loved the food there, but it is like, it's, you know, it is, it has a feel of uh, more just like a restaurant versus a character dine. Yeah. So yeah. 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 Or overly themed. Like it's not oh, overly themed. Right. Very, very contemporary. It's very yeah. kind of yeah. goes right. with that. Yeah. Yeah. So awesome. Yeah. So we had a great experience there. I think the staff was amazing. Like when we ate at the little quick service place, mm -hmm. they were constantly like coming around to ask us if everything was good and, you know, doing things to help people social distance, like taking trays and um, the mobile ordering in the parks and at the resorts is awesome. I hope that never goes so away. <laughs> I know. I hope so. I was just saying that yeah. someone else. I hope they never take yeah. that away. Yeah. So that was convenient. Um, yeah, we had just, we had a really great time. It was a wonderful experience. Awesome. So the only other one thing I wanted to mention too, cause I've had a, a couple people asking me is they are doing the fun kid entertainment at the pools. So they Not, have, okay, good. Yeah. They have, you know, their dedicated cast member down there playing music, they were doing trivia. Um, they did, you know, games that could still social distance, bingo. But that was fun. And especially for my nephews, they they had fun with that. That's really important because I think that's a big draw to the Disney Resort pools is, is the activities at the pool. Um, frequent guests come to, you know, look forward to it and the kids do so. Yeah. That's great. I'll throw in, I don't know if you caught any of this, but because I happened to be at Disney World the week before you were at a different resort right. um, and some of the characters came out one day up above. So it was at uh, Storm Along Bay at Yacht Club. So there's kind of an upper level, but yeah. they brought the characters out. Who was it? I think it was Tigger and Goofy. And they just kind of danced with the kids for like a good 15 minutes. And yeah. all the kids in the pool below were like, I mean, all the adults, everyone's like, oh my God. Yeah. Kids. Yeah. So they're yeah. really like they're really doing a great job I think with the activities for the kids absolutely and the, it, I, do, I do think it's amazing how they're finding solutions you know a lot of people are oh my kiddo obviously wants to see characters and stuff so examples like that we had eaten breakfast at Wilderness Lodge and same thing while we were waiting to go in to the restaurant Pluto came out like on the second floor of you know the yep. um, hotel and he was doing the same thing and getting people you know, oh Pluto's up there yeah. so they're doing they're they're doing a good job giving you the magical experience still that's extra magic because for as long as I can remember there have not been characters at the resorts other than right. at restaurants yeah in decades I mean I think right. it's been a really long time since Disney's done that so it's, yeah it feels extra special when you see yeah. a character at a resort 
Definitely. Yeah. Well, thank you. It's always a pleasure to chat with you. I'm glad you and your family had such a good time at the Contemporary Resort. All right. Well, thank you. I love talking with you. So. All right. I'll see you later. All right. Bye, Jenny. Bye. Thanks, Jaren. It's always fun to talk to you about your travels, and it was especially fun to talk to you about Disney's Contemporary Resort. And thanks to all of you for watching this week's Travel Chat. We will continue to bring you information and updates as more destinations welcome back travelers.